after last week's ticket fiasco, your chance to see Garth Brooks opening back up tomorrow at 10 in the morning. So many people excited. Well, yeah. WATE digital reporter Cameron Jacobs is in Knoxville right now with how the singer and Visit Knoxville are working to prevent the same thing from <laughs> happening again. That's right, Kristen and Laura. I'm standing here at Neyland Stadium, the future site for a historic Garth Brooks concert coming in November. You may remember last week, ticket sales had to be stopped due to the high demand of fans ready to see the country music legend. This was 100% my fault. I just, uh, I didn't, I didn't believe people were coming as quick as they did, and I just wasn't ready for it, and the system froze up all because of me, and I so apologize. A very humble Garth Brooks spoke with Lori Tugger last Friday, apologizing for shutting down ticket sales for his Neyland Stadium concert. Kim Bumpus, the president of Visit Knoxville, tells me why Garth put the halt on his shoulders. Garth is a really passionate uh, entertainer as it relates to the fan experience. So I don't know why he, you know, wanted to take the blame at the level and kind of how he expressed it, but I do think he takes ownership of any experience associated with his concert. And the solution to making this experience great for everyone was simply to start over. And when we got to a place where we realized people might be waiting online for hours, it was time to kind of like turn it off, regroup, fix what was wrong, and then go back on sale. And back on sale, they will go starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. For now, reporting in Knoxville, I'm Cameron Jacobs. Thank you, Cameron. Now, Kim Bumpus with Visit Knoxville also gave us some secret tips to ensure mm -hmm. you can get a good place in line to pick up your tickets tomorrow. So now they're not so secret anymore. Yeah, to find out more, <laughs> go to WHEE.com. Find this story under the As Seen On section of our website. And of course, good luck, though. Joining us now is one.